Hey, Ballers, this is Kyle in New Jersey. I have a commissioner question. We're going to start doing keepers in my league starting 2020. Just wanted to know your thoughts on the best way to determine keeper costs in the draft and how to handle players that are taken off waivers during the season. Mm-hmm. Love the show, guys. Thanks a lot. Hotly debated topic from time to time here on the show. Answer, Passionate. Answer number one is there's no right way to do it. I mean, we, we have a league that there is no cost. You just pick three keepers, but you can't keep the same position. I mean, we people do it differently in each and every league. I know that Jason has strong feelings about not allowing – like some leagues do waiver wire guys in, for the last Ugh. round pick. Don't do that. Yeah, that's – I you know, a lot of times you'll you'll do something where you – you establish your keepers. You can keep them at whatever you drafted them, and and every year or two it goes up two rounds or something like that. If you got them off the waivers, then it's your last round pick. That was like the default several years ago when keeper systems were were just being made. So it was really common. And then you know after 2014, Odell Beckham Jr., who was a waiver wire guy, who was a top you know five pick the next season, was just completely free, even though. Nobody in your league and then it was drafted David, him. Then it was David Johnson. Yeah, so to me, I love, I personally love the the forced strategy on a league where it's like if you don't draft the player, if the league doesn't draft them so that they cannot be kept, they're just not eligible to be kept, they back in the draft, um, Andy doesn't like that. I love that. Like that is my I mean, preferred it, method. So what you don't get, so you don't get rewarded for being a, an in a keeper league. You can't pick up a guy and so have what's a the reward. cost then? I think you can do it a number of ways. You could do it uh, two rounds behind ADP, one round behind ADP. Uh, how about this? Inventing it on the spot. What if what you paid in fab for him? You got to give up if you want to keep him. You get a, you give up your last round pick plus the fab you spent on that player if it's a free agent pickup. Here's the thing: if a player isn't of any cost, people trade keepers. So that, that guy has a different value, right? You can go trade for David Johnson, and he has no cost, so he's got a different elevated value. It just depends on how you want to play. I can't imagine just telling people the more fun way to play fantasy football is if you pick a guy off of waivers. In our keeper league, you can't keep him. No, it's not. It, it, I don't think it takes any fun away because it's not like you don't get a keeper now. You've got to keep the guys that you drafted or that were drafted. I mean, the, the reality is... You never had is, a badge of honor, though, where you have a guy oh, that I you love, picked up yes. off of waivers and you're like, man, I saw that Philip Lindsay before anybody else. I saw George Kittle before anybody else. And that's why I drafted him, is what I would say. No, you didn't draft him. You waiver picked no, him I up. know, but then it's... You're, the, we're talking about draft cost, right? So, like, the you're rewarding. I think that the point of the... the, the for the where you draft cost... For the draft cost, the point is rewarding the owners... Who found those guys in your draft late and made the decision to spend the draft equity on that guy? I got Curtis Samuel in the 13th in an early, you know, offseason draft, and you're rewarding their insight at the draft. I didn't think keepers was about the draft only. I thought it was about the yeah. league. I, I, <laughs> I, I side more with Andy on the the philosophy of you got to find a way to be able to to let players keep them, and it's it's ADP minus a round for me. I think you're, that's a, that's a you're fine rewarded. Compromise. You you get someone's like David Johnson or, or James Conner this past year. You picked him up off of waivers, right? And, the, and this wasn't even after week nice one. Nice move, Mike. Yeah, I know. Well, picking him up. Look, and he you shouldn't be allowed to keep James Conner for free. Should be ADP minus a round. So you'd get him for a second round. Second round pick. pick. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If those were the best few minutes of your life, you should probably click the subscribe button and check out a full-length episode.